Do you guys know what natural resources are? Of course we do. They're resources that are natural. <laughs> Boom. Can you be a little more specific? <sighs> okay. They are resources that are el natural. <laughs> Boom. Do you guys know anything about natural resources? I thought we did. Maybe we need to get some resources and study and then teach them on this video what we learned. Naturally. Anything that you can find in nature that can be used by living things, well, that's a natural resource. That means water, forests, fossil fuels, minerals, plants, animals, and even sunlight and air. Basically, natural resources are not man-made. Natural resources can either be renewable or non-renewable. A renewable resource is something that can grow again or comes back after we actually use it. A non-renewable resource does not grow or come back and it takes a very long time before it can be used again. We're first going to talk about renewable natural resources. Scientists consider plants, trees, animals, water, and even soil as renewable resources because they replenish themselves. Although soil is renewable, it takes hundreds, millions of years to actually form. So for our own purposes as humans, soil is a non-renewable resource. One of the most important natural resources is water. Now, you may think we'd have enough water, but did you know that 97% of all of the water on our planet Earth is actually salt water that we can't drink? In fact, only 3% is fresh water, and most of that is frozen in the ice caps or in glaciers. Actually, in reality, we only have 1% of the fresh water available to us for use and to be able to drink. Sunlight is another valuable natural resource that we use every day of our lives. Air is another natural resource. You need air to breathe and do a lot of other things in our daily lives like filling up the tires on our cars and bikes, even filling up basketballs, balloons, and a lot more. We even use air to make electricity through the use of wind turbines. Trees and plants are a natural resource that provides oxygen to the planet and also gives us shade. Trees and plants help keep cities from flooding and absorb the carbon dioxide in the air. And also, don't forget all the things we actually make from trees, including things like paper, furniture, homes, and even buildings. Hey, guess what? Did you know that most natural resources are limited? This means they will eventually run out. Some of the things that affect the supply of resources are if you can recycle it or being able to find proper replacements for the actual material. Now, we will talk about non-renewable resources. A non-renewable resource does not grow or come back or they take a very, very, very long time to form or come back. An example is coal, because when we use coal, there is less coal to use after we use it. And coal is actually the cheapest energy resource and the most abundant fossil fuel. Hey, guess what? Did you know that humans have used coal since the time of cavemen? You want to know why? Why? Because cavemen were bad, so they always got coal for Christmas. <laughs> I think that joke was bad. Mm-hmm. I think you deserve coal for that joke, Gus. Anyway, there are also things called perpetual resources, and these have a never-ending supply. 
Perpetual resources include solar energy, tidal energy, and wind energy. And this means there may be a limit to how much can be used daily or yearly, but that amount can be used again the next day, the next week, the next year without actually losing the resource. Non-perpetual resources are resources like fossil fuels. Fossil fuels are what are used for many of the machines that we still use today. In fact, almost 90% of that energy comes from burning fossil fuels. Fossil fuels are things like petroleum, which is oil, coal, like we mentioned, as well as natural gas. These materials are called fossil fuels because they are the remains of organisms that lived millions of years ago. So, do you think, like, when we go in, like, your dad's truck, that, like, that fuel is actually dinosaurs? No. Well, it is. You're not smart. You're actually kind of right, Gus. Petroleum or oil is a valuable natural resource from the remains of organisms, which are tiny plants and animals that lived hundreds of millions of years ago. And when these living things died, they sank into the mud, and layers and layers of mud and rock piled up, pushing down on the lower layers over years and years. And eventually, that pressure and the Earth's heat transformed the organism's remain into petroleum. Fossil fuels are considered a limited resource because humans are using these resources up much quicker then they are being created. And that is exactly why there can be shortages of natural resources. One way you can help save natural resources is by walking or riding a bike instead of driving, because cars use gas made from fossil fuels. And what did we learn that fossil fuels actually are? Dinosaurs. No, natural resources. Come on, this whole video has been about natural resources. Are you joking me? Are you joking me? Are you joking me? Um, moving on. We need natural resources for food, housing, clothing, transportation, communication, and quite a bit more. We must save natural resources so they will continue to be available for everyone. This is important to understand because people could not survive without natural resources. Well, hey, guess what? Now we learned all about natural resources and Caden's learned a little bit about dinosaurs. <laughs> Thanks for watching and don't forget to smash that thumbs up button. It really helps out our channel. It sure does. Make sure to subscribe. Bye. Bye. Dinosaurs.